No one could have prepared Paul Hullings and Tim Young for what would happen when they entered the 130 Diner in Delrin, New Jersey. The diner was almost empty at 5.30 a.m., except for a young waitress who was working the late shift. When she walked up to them quietly with a note, they weren't ready. Paul and Tim were on their way home after one of the most exciting nights of their lives when they decided to stop and get some coffee and breakfast. After what they had been through the night before, they really needed the caffeine boost. But when they saw the neon sign for the 130 diner and pulled in, they didn't know what would happen to them later that day. Paul and Tim were no strangers to trouble. Every day, they had to deal with it. What they had seen a few hours before was written all over their faces. They had no idea that what was about to happen that morning in the empty diner would shake them to their core. Liz Woodward was also tired after working a long shift. She had to keep going, though. Having strange work hours was hard on her, but when she thought about what she was working toward, she knew she had to keep going. As the men walked in and sat down, she noticed their dirty clothes and tired faces. When she saw who they were, her heart skipped a beat. Liz went up to the men to find out what they wanted, and Paul confirmed what she already thought. He rubbed his eyes and said, give me the biggest cup of coffee you have. The other man nodded to show that he agreed. Liz was glad to help. As she made their piping hot coffee, she heard bits and pieces of what they were saying. When she looked up at the TV and saw the breaking news, she knew the men's faces right away. She stood still with the coffee pot in her hand and watched the news as if it were a magic show. The fire had been going strong for most of the night, but it was finally out. It started in a warehouse in North Brunswick, which was about an hour away by car. She knew she had to do something. Liz shook as she carefully wrote her note on the men's bill while they finished their coffee and farm breakfast. As an afterthought, she drew an axe on one side before clearing their plates and leaving it on the table. When Paul picked up the book and started to read, he started to cry. The two firefighters from the Mount Holly Fire Department sat in silence, stunned by what they had just read. The young waitress was clearly having trouble of her own. She worked weekends, nights, and any other shifts she could at the diner to try to pay for school and make ends meet. But they couldn't have known how hard things were at home for her. After more than 12 hours of fighting the raging fire in a North Brunswick warehouse, Tim noticed that his friend and partner, Paul, was getting tired. When they finally got the fire under control, the two men were too tired to do anything else. Tim was the one who noticed that Paul hadn't eaten, so he drove to the 130 diner to get him something to eat in this. Liz was about to have a big change in her life. Paul and Tim immediately posted her note on Facebook, where it got a lot of attention, after reading it. The firefighters' post got thousands of likes, comments, and shares. Soon, Liz was known to people on the street. She gained instant fame on Facebook. So, what was written on the note? Liz wrote, your breakfast is on me today. Thank you for everything you do, for helping others and for going where everyone else runs away. No matter what you do, you are brave, strong, and brave, thank you for always taking risks. You are a great example of someone who is driven by fire and courage. Get some rest. Paul told WPVI-TV, I started to cry, and it made me feel good. It showed us firefighters that people want us and care about us. But Liz had some serious problems of her own that the firefighters didn't know about until the post went viral. They looked online and found Liz's Goffin account. They knew they had to do something. Such a kind and selfless thing to do. Tim wrote on Facebook, I really want my friends to go there and support the business. If Liz is your waitress, give her a big tip. It turns out that the young woman who fed us for free is the one who needs help. We've rented a van before so that my dad could go to his father's funeral and his daughter's graduation," Liz wrote on her Goffin page. Transportation isn't covered unless the trip is medically necessary, and it's very expensive to rent even for a few hours. It was the first time he had been able to talk to family and friends he hadn't seen in years since his aneurysm burst. After Liz's dad had an aneurysm, he could only get around in a wheelchair. Liz set up a Goffin campaign to raise money so she could buy him a van that could be accessed by a wheelchair. This would make his life easier. Paul and Tim were touched that their waitress was once again thinking about how she could help the people around her. We saw my father smile, laugh, and feel proud, and we saw his memory get stronger with each person who left him in shock that he remembered who they were and what got them into trouble back in the day," Liz said. You can still call my dad Steve. He's just Steve, and he's in a wheelchair because he had a brain injury and lived. He deserves to be called Steve and not just a patient or a number on a chart. As more and more people saw Paul and Tim's Facebook post about Liz's good deed, word of her campaign spread quickly. 
Soon, people from all over the world began giving money. The goal of the campaign was $17,000, but in just a few days, the donations doubled and then tripled. Kind people gave more than $70,000, which was more than enough to buy Liz's dad a brand new hydraulic lift and van. And she did it all because she saw two tired firefighters and knew she had to do something to brighten their day. She never thought she would get such a big payoff. Liz doesn't think it was a big deal that she paid the firefighters $15 breakfast bill. I know it's being talked about as a very strange thing to do. It's not big. It's just a small thing, Liz told WPVI. She had no idea that her small act of kindness would lead to such a big gift from her heroes. Liz wrote a heartfelt thank you letter after the campaign reached its fundraising goal. She said, our family has seen an outpouring of love and support from around the world, and I want to thank each and every one of you beautiful humans for making this dream come true. It just goes to show that being kind really does pay off.